What's up guys, Lego Bros Reviews here, and today Lego has revealed another brand new Lego set. They revealed the Lego Ideas Grand Piano, and this is a Lego set I've been looking forward to for, to for a long time, and it looks amazing. So we are going to go ahead and take a look at the official Lego images, starting with the front of the box as always. On the front of the box, we can see the completed Grand Piano along with the bench, and you can already see the amount of detail in that, but in the other pictures we'll be able to see more of that detail. And this is the 31st LEGO Ideas set, and this is set number 21323, and it consists of 3,662 pieces, and this set will be released on August 1st for $349.99 in the U.S., and this set does include three powered up Lego elements, which we will talk about a little later in the video. On the back of the box here, we can see the grand piano in a concert hall, along with the measurements of the piano and it com the lid completely closed. And then in those bottom two images show those powered up elements, kind of how they work. But like I said, we'll talk about that a little later in the video, so it'll make more sense when we talk about it then. So in our third image here, we have a better look at the actual grand piano. And like I said, you can see the amount of detail that went into this set from the keys to the strings inside of the piano. This is just an amazing looking set. In our next picture, we have a picture of the bench. And if you twist that little knob on the side, it'll raise and lower the bench, which is a really cool little thing element they added to this set and in this next picture we can see the lid of the piano completely closed so you can just see like all the functionality that the piano had and how it can all be compacted down like an actual grand piano so that's pretty cool okay here's where we get to see the inside of the piano the strings have been removed along with the keys and all that stuff will come out to make it easily accessible but we're going to talk about these uh, powered up elements inside right now just so you can get an idea of what these will do so you're going to get a uh, battery box a technic motor i can't remember what size and like a light sensor thing that senses like depth and color and that type of stuff, I'm pretty sure. But that, that's a brand new element, so we aren't 100% sure how that works right now. But basically, with these inside of the piano, you download the LEGO Powered Up app on your phone, and then you will connect the battery box to your phone, and you will be able to have the piano self-play with music coming out of your phone, or you can follow along and play a song with the music notes on your phone. And so you'll get to hear the noise as well as you can create your own song and sound comes out of the phone. Now there is a designer video for this set, which I will link in the description. I thought it would clarify a bit more of the, about the functionality and it didn't. So we will have to wait until we get a review from somebody to find out what the actual functionality is 100% and like what exactly it's gonna do we have a pretty good idea but like i said we aren't 100 percent sure and i'll make sure to make a new video and update you guys once there's a review out so you guys will know exactly what the powered up elements will make this piano do so in our next picture we just see those three powered up elements included in this set here is another view of the grand piano and as you can see you put the phone up there, and from the video, you'll have the mu the music, like it's like sheet music will show up on your phone, so you'll follow along and play the notes as the sound comes out of your phone, so that's pretty cool. And from what we can see here, the app is doing the self-play function, so it'll, like a s actual self-playing grand piano, so you're playing the song through your phone while the keys are automatically playing. Same thing in this next picture, just kind of same thing without the phone, but the music stand is put down. However, I would like to point out that um, gold Lego logo on the front of the piano 
because it's a Lego brand piano, so that's pretty cool. And they said they used a um, older version of the Lego logo for that, which is also pretty cool. And another detail I like is that lock piece, which is that gold bar in the middle of the piano. That's really cool how they added that in. And another thing I forgot to mention, I'll just mention now, the pedal farthest to the right, the damper pedal, I think is what they said it is, um, when that is pushed down, it will dampen the noise coming out of the piano. So it is functional, which is really cool to see all the functions in this set. Now in this next picture, we see an overhead view of the piano, which lets us see the amount of detail inside of the actual piano, which is amazing. Get to see all the strings and just everything going on, the hammers. And once again, this probably has that self-play function going on, which is useful for this picture, so you can kind of see when the keys press down what is going on inside. And this is just amazing what they were able to do in such a small model. Um, in our next picture here, we just have a, say, almost completed Lego Grand Piano. So you can kind of see what the building process will look like as far as what you'll build first and then build last. So in our next picture here, it just shows somebody using the app. And there are five songs that you will be able to choose from for it to self-play. In our next picture here, we just it just shows the grand piano being displayed. Another picture here of it being displayed. The other thing I forgot to mention is that sheet music included for the piano. That is a printed element, which is I'm really thankful for because I do not like stickers. And this is more of a premium set for the price. So um, I'm glad Lego is printing elements in the more expensive sets now but anyway that sheet music um it has a song on it written by the actual fan designer of this set so if you aren't familiar with lego ideas i'll just let you know right now you a fan like you or me will design a lego set and they submit it to the lego ideas website and once that lego set achieves 10,000 supporters it is then reviewed by lego and they see like as far as licensing and just pieces used and all that stuff to see if it's an actual set that could be made and if they determine it can be a set um they will make it into an actual lego set and so they most of them they try and include something from the original design or the original fan who designed the set and so in this set in particular the design the fan designer had written this song which he had used in his video to promote his set that he had designed and so they had printed the sheet music for that song on that element so that's really cool to be included in this set and i do believe from the lego designer video which once again will be li linked in the description below i believe they that song is one of the songs that the piano can play which is another cool thing because I like how they um, want to pay tribute to kind of the fan designer who came up with the idea for the set. In our next picture, once again, the model being built. And then our final picture is just a close-up of those keys. And I believe there are 26 keys. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. And the measurements for this set is going to be 12 inches by 13 and a half inches by 8 inches tall so it's a little bigger than your um average modular building just the single base plate modular buildings not as far as height but just size of the base plate so i think that's really cool that lego was able to put that amount of detail in still such a small area and like I said, like I said before, sorry. Um, as soon as I find out more information from reviews of this set, as far as the functionality and how it for sure works, I will make sure to let you guys know. And like most Lego sets that have been revealed lately, there's lots of people complaining about the price and how it looks. Now the price, it is a little steep, three hundred and forty-nine, basically three hundred fifty dollars. But then you got to add on tax. 
so about four hundred dollars for this set however like i said it does include those three powered up components which normally are pretty expensive on their own like that battery box alone i think it's 70 or 80 dollars which is a lot of money but you're getting those 3662 pieces and i say a 10 cent per piece ratio is a really good value because they say the average is about 11 cents so in my opinion with the um, piece count as well as those powered up elements included you are definitely getting your money's worth but like i've said all along if you don't like this set just don't get it but for me personally this is a set i will end up getting because i play the piano and it's just cool to have something that like kind of represents you built out of legos and just all the functionality too that they put in the set like we don't know all of it right now but just what we do know and the amount of detail it, it's just a set i do want to get and thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe if you haven't so that you can stay on top of our latest lego news and review videos we'll see you next time